Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Dragon City, and this is Beginner Guide Part 29. Oh, yeah. We might as well scratch out the beginner in there because we're really starting to get some traction in this game. There's a lot going on here today. We've got tons of gold that's ready to collect. We've also got, we also have tons of experience that's ready to collect. Here, we've got a couple habitats that are done building. We also have some of those electric crystals as well. Beautiful. And here, we're gonna go get a lot of experience from all the crystals that we've been building. Here, we can go ahead and collect that gold, and we're also getting maze coins. Love it. And we've got another crystal right there. We'll take it. A little bit more gold, some food, and, well, we've also got the Riddle Runner event going on right now. So I want to know, what do I have to do to get more of those flight tokens? Here, we have to collect food, feed our dragons 12 times, or at least to get 12 of those little symbols there, and hatch four, four eggs. Excuse me. So here, let's go. Let's do it. Here, I'm going to collect all of that food. Beautiful. And when it comes to food, I'm just going to regrow all. I think there's one of the rainbow lushes in there, and then the other ones are all the um, two-hour food. So that's looking pretty good. Beautiful. And we got the food collection. Awesome. So now we've got to feed our dragons and hatch some eggs. Let's go. So here, this is looking pretty good. And I'm going straight to the hatchery over here. Ooh, we've got tons of experience lying around. Oh, Patang, baby. Oh, yeah. Now we just reached level 29. Super cool. So here, we managed to get enough experience to level up to level 29. We've got a new element. Interesting. We've got the chaos habitat. I'm guessing that's the chaos element right there. And we can now level up our wind habitat as well. Super cool. We also got two free gems with that, and I will take it. Oh, yeah. Here we've got a special offer for the Brawl Dragon, but usually these special offers I'm just going to pass on. I don't even have that many gems right now. And yes, I am very much enjoying Dragon City. I'll rate later. Thank you so much. So here we're going to keep getting that experience. I've got a bunch of stuff going on here. Decided to clear all those rocks there. Start making some space for the future. Beautiful. So back over here, we've got some eggs to hatch and some dragons to feed. Awesome. So here we go. Let's hatch some dragon eggs. Here it looks like we've got a wind dragon that's ready to be placed. Perfect. So we're going to place that on the habitat over here so we can have both of our habitats making gold. That's going to be awesome. These wind habitats level two have a great uh, maximum gold capacity. So that's going to help us accumulate tons of gold here. Of course, we ended up getting another cloud dragon, and I ended up hatching it last night when I wasn't filming. Um, well, you've seen me get a couple cloud dragons before, right? Nothing new. But something that's very interesting here, when it comes to collections, I went to rebreed those two dragons, and we finally got it, the blizzard dragon. Oh, yeah. So this blizzard dragon has a two-hour hatch time. Super excited about that. Yas, queen. Here, if we go back to our hatchery, we've also got the big rock star dragon that's ready to slay that beat. Let's go ahead and place this dragon. I'll place it on the dark habitat there. Beautiful. Ooh, and we're looking real good here. So which dragons are we going to feed next? I'm not too sure, but we're going to figure this out here. Let's see. So there, our hatchery is kind of empty. We want to get some more dragons. And up here, those dragons are done breeding. The dragon must be an adult dragon in order to use a skin. Keep feeding your dragons. Okay, no biggie. It's all good. So here, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to exit it with the X there. And we ended up getting the alpine dragon. Oh, that's super cool. Love it. Oh, yeah. So that's looking great. Now, which dragons should I feed? Here, we're going to be really specific to long-term goals. Here... We need an ice and fire dragon. I don't know if I have an ice and fire dragon, but if I do, that's the dragon I'm going to feed. Here, I also noticed we've got the flight stamp quest, so we're going to go ahead and try to get that victory there. Beautiful. So you always want to check into your battle quest here, whether it's for a mini game or whether it's for progressing in the cups that are there. It's a great way to level up your dragon's rank. Here, we're at a B plus for the jelly dragon, and I'm really proud of that. Yeah. So here, we're going to go with Headbutt again. Looking good. Awesome. And here, Tumbleweed, Buttes McGee. And we just got another victory. Looking good. So here, when it comes to the Flight Stamps quest, that looks new. We can get Flight Stamps and food, and they kind of alternate. And then 
yeah, it gets more and more as we go. The last stage, which I have trouble getting to because a girl only has so much time, or anybody only has so much time. Here we've got 10 flight stamps for stage 10, and stage 9 is 35,000 food, which is pretty good if I may say so myself. So back to focusing here, ice and fire, let's go. So here we're going to our dragon book. And we've got our dragons. We're going to put them in order by power descending. And I'm going to specifically choose fire and ice. I'm scrolling. Do we have any yet? Oh, my latest. Okay, so it looks like we don't have a fire and ice dragon yet. Unless is the alpine. Uh, whoops, alpine. Oh, I'm having spelling issues today. Lol. Okay, so the, the alpine dragon is terra and ice. So I don't think we've got the dragon that we're looking for. So here we're just going to go to our breeding area. We're going to breed fire and ice. Beautiful. So that's looking good. I'm going to use eh, maybe not the snowflake dragon just because I don't want to risk it being a terra dragon. So we're going to go with our ice dragon here. Hmm. Okay. Looks like this is tricky. Interesting. So here I'm looking, you can't necessarily just breed an ice dragon with the flame dragon, so I guess it's going to be a little bit more tricky than I intended. Okay, so here, let's just go ahead, let's choose that volcano dragon there and see the possible results. Ah, I see what's going on. So here we've been breeding that and we're getting a bunch of terra and ice dragons. That's kind of what I was afraid of. So let's see. Here... There are at least three that are Terra and Ice. And the Soccer Dragons, Flame and Ice. Ooh, okay. So, so far, ooh, okay. Out of all of these, there's only three that are Ice and Flame. So, it's going to be a little tricky. Here, I want to make sure I've got a level 20 Ice Dragon. And I used a lower level um, Volcano Dragon. I'm actually going to switch it up here. I want to choose a very strong dragon so that we have the best chances for getting a less common dragon and a more rare dragon. Hmm. Maybe Scooter? I don't know. This is a Flame and Terra. Ooh, but we don't have all the dragons we had earlier, do we? Ice and Fire, that's one. Okay, Flame and Ice. Flame and Ice. I feel like this one... Looks pretty good. Let's give it a try. I hope we get that new symbol. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, so no new symbol there. That's okay, though. Here, we're going to mix it up, do something else. Oh, we've got some gold there. Love it. Okay, so here, we're going to go over here. That's looking good. Everything's in progress. Here, we're going to go breed, and I'm going to try fire and ice again. Hmm. So here if we do Terra and Ice, can we use a strong Flame Dragon? Okay, perfect. So here we're going to be able to use a pretty strong Flame Dragon. I'm not going to use, or why not? Let's use the strongest dragon here. That gives us some pretty good chances for getting a rare dragon. E, but it also gives us some good chances for getting the other dragons. Well, other than the Aztec Dragon... All the other Flame and Terra Dragons are pretty quick for uh, breeding times. I'm going for it. Let's try this. So here we've got the level 25 Flame Dragon with five Empowerment Stars. And we've got the Snowflake Dragon that is a Terra and Ice Dragon. Give me that new symbol. Oh! Okay. Just off the bat, I can already tell this is the Aztec Dragon. I can't believe it, but eh, what you gonna do? Okay. So here, at least we're gonna be able to empower that dragon eventually. Okie dokes. So, well, that isn't what I was expecting, but it's all good. We still have to feed a dragon here because that was our long-term goal for getting those flight stamps. I think I was calling them tokens earlier, but you know what I mean. So here, what's our next dragon we want to level up? I'm feeling Rudolph. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Didn't we only need six of those? I think we got them all. Oh, we might be a little bit short. Oh, I did the math wrong. We need 12 of those. <laughs> Lol. Okay, so here, back to the dragon book and back to the Rudolph dragon. So here, I'm just feeding those, getting those little symbols that mean we got one more 
you know, step of progress for getting those flight stamps there. Beautiful. And yes, we got it. Perfect. So there, we also got the Rudolph Drake into level 30, which is going to be great for eventually upgrading our roost. And here we can go and claim those flight stamps. Here, we still have one more egg to hatch. And we do have a couple eggs that are going to be, or one egg that's going to be ready in less than two hours here. So next, I'm going to go with my storage and I want to get that Neo Kira Dragon that we earned from the mini match game that we were playing the other day. Awesome. Here, the Neo Kira Dragon, or Neo Kira, has a 36 hour hatch time. So that's a day and a half. That's going to take a little bit of time, but that's all good. Beautiful. So this is going really well so far. Here, oop, but it's going too fast. I just want to see what events are going on. Okay, so things are looking pretty fun. Okay, looking good there. Oh yeah, the mystery event. Here, yesterday, two of our dragons are really close to the exit. We just have to play a couple battles. Well, yesterday my day ended up being a little bit busy there, busier than I intended, and that's okay. We still have plenty of time. Thank goodness we've got three days and 19 hours left. So here, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fight, and we're on the second battle here. Beautiful. So what dragon to use? I think I'm gonna go with the High Whisperer dragon, not take any chances. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Yes, that's looking great. Okay, perfect. So here we're going to go ahead and use our strong move, Storm Cloud. Oh yeah, and victory. That's what I'm talking about. For the Gardener Dragon, we have to wait an hour now, and that's okay. We'll wait. And there's another dragon that we're working on getting that's only one step away. Here, the Brawny Dragon. So let's go ahead and try to get another victory. We're going to choose the same dragon, the High Whisperer Dragon. Beautiful. Hopefully we'll get this victory. Let's go. Beautiful. So Ghost Cloud here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. One hit wonder. Beautiful. So there, we've got that going on. And I don't know, I must have been like crushing it yesterday. You know, I collected a bunch of food, a bunch of gold in between the two videos here. And we got a bunch of those maze coins. I'm not too sure what's going to be the best route for us. So let's check this out. Here, the Graffiti Dragon, we haven't really started. There's a lot of flight stamps there, so it is tempting. So even though this one's pretty tempting, I don't know if I want to go for those flight stamps. Let's see what else is on the menu here. We've also got this dragon. We did work a little bit on getting this dragon, the Outlaw Dragon. We, I mean, we didn't get that far. We did like, what, two steps there? And I know there's a lot of steps left to go. Um, this is the dark blue one. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, e, ten, thirteen, fourteen. So already, I know that I'm probably not gonna have enough of the flight stamp tokens. It's more than ten moves. Four fifty times ten is four thousand five hundred, and I only have four thousand one hundred. So I'm gonna count that out for now. But it's not like over necessarily. Here we did get the mime dragon, so I'm really happy about that. Hmm, well, what do I do? Do I go for the Graffiti Dragon, which is like kind of a little bit easier, get more flight stamps along the way? I'm not too sure. We should be able to make it to the end here. Hmm, even though here we're really close to one of those gem chests here, you can get 10 free gems from that, and I would like to get those gems. Um, Oof, what to do? I'm being split in half here. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on the Graffiti Dragon just because I know I can't get the Outlaw Dragon. But if we can get enough progress on the Graffiti Dragon, then with the Outlaw Dragon, I know I'm not going to be able to claim the Outlaw Dragon, but I'm going to try to get that gem, the gem chest. Beautiful. Big money, give us those flight tickets. Yeah, beautiful. So there we got a couple there. We're going to keep making progress here. And big money, let's see what we get. Ooh, 50, love it. Those are light tokens there for the habitats. Awesome. And here, let's see what that does. Ooh, five, no way, okay. So here, I clicked a little bit less there than I normally do. I tend to be a frantic clicker there. So 
I'm going to slow it down. Maybe giving less clicks give more rewards. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure this out. Ooh, I love it. Frankie Dragon, 10 orbs. Oh, yeah. So we just got 10 of the Frankie Dragon orbs. Love it. Beautiful. And big money. Ooh, five flight tokens. Okay, we're getting lucky here. I like that. Here, we've got the legendary chest. Save your dragon. Oh, we just got a new dragon. That's awesome. Yes, queen. Love it. And here, we might actually get this graffiti dragon. I mean, we're making some really good progress here. Come on, big money. Five flight tokens. No way. Okay, so this is going really good. I love it. Here, big money, big money. What kind of chest is that? Oh, two gems. I'll take it. Yas queen. So I guess this wasn't too bad of a decision after all. Here, we're going to keep making some progress. Get those flight tokens. Yeah. Patang, baby. Oh, yeah. We're making some good progress here. Let's keep going. Graffiti dragon in the house. Beautiful. Oh, five gems. Yes. Okay. So we've still, even though we ended up choosing this route, we ended up getting seven gems. And well, we're not even that close to getting the graffiti dragon. We've got one, two, three, four moves left to go. But there's still three days and 19 hours left in this event. We might actually be able to do it here. I'm going to keep working and try to get some more of those maze coins there. And yeah, let's have some fun with this. So here, I think we have another dragon egg to hatch for this. So we're kind of stuck there for now, but we got a bunch of the flight tokens. So let's see if we can't get these maze coins here. If we manage to get to this reward, it's going to give us 300 maze coins and I'm aiming for the gems here. We can get 10 gems and I would love that. Oh yeah. Well, let's give this a chance. Let's go get those pinwheels. Beautiful. So that's looking good there. Here we want to avoid those Loch Ness monsters from the lagoon. Beautiful there. Perfect. Okay, so here float behind those tentacles. Here, that's looking good. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, here jump that. Okay, perfect. Here go up, down, get the pinwheels. Okay, perfect. Go up for the pinwheel and then down again. Orb, 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 pinwheel, pinwheel, down, down, up, 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 ooh. Okay, focus, channel that focus. We've got this. Oh, my Lantis. Okay, well, I got a little nervous there and I just stumbled myself up, but we still did pretty good. We got 71 pinwheels and a bunch of cool dragon orbs and a little bit of food there, a little bit of items. I'm definitely happy with that claim. And yes, we got enough of the pinwheels to get those maze coins. Oh yeah. So I'm really stoked about that. Next up here, we've got the food. So I'm going to give this a couple more tries and we're going to try to get the food with 700 pinwheels. And then we're going to try to get the gems with however many pinwheels that requires. So let's get those pinwheels. Come on, let's go. So here we're doing pretty good. Beautiful. Here, we're going to get those tokens. Things are still going slow, so we've got more time. But as it goes further and faster, we're going to just go for the pinwheels and forget about the food and the gold. So here, pinwheel. Perfect. Okay, pinwheels there. A little bit of food. Pinwheels. Oh, yeah, pinwheels. Perfect. Oh, yeah, there we go. So pinwheels in the house. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. So here I jumped too soon. Oops. Anyways, not a big deal. We still did good. We ended up getting 71 pinwheels again. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not my best run, but not my worst either. Oh, we're so close. Okay, let's go get that food. Come on. We can do this. So here we're really trying to get as many pinwheels as we can. Perfect. There we go. So here we're going to get those orbs. Beautiful. Here, go for the orb. And I don't mind about the gold as much. The orbs are more rare and we can either empower or summon dragons with those orbs. Perfect. Okay, so here, forget the food. Go for the pinwheels. Perfect. Gold, 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 pinwheel, pinwheel, pinwheel. I'm just going to take it easy here. 
Really aim on those pinwheels. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay, so forget the food. Ice tokens, I'll take it. Okay, pinwheel. Uh, I missed a couple there. No biggie. Okay, so now it's starting to go fast. Focus, girl. Pinwheels, pinwheels. Okay. Jump. Okay, okay. Beautiful. Okay, go for the pinwheels. Don't worry about the rest. And jump. Okay, light tokens go down, jump. Oh, ouch. Anyways, we still did great. We ended up getting 105 pin to uh, pinwheels. Love it. Oh, yeah. Some super cool dragon orbs. I love it all. Yas Queen claiming it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and we almost got those gems. Let's claim this food box. A couple clicks, and let's see what happens. 20,000 food. Yas Queen. Beautiful. Here, I'm going for one more. We're so close to getting those gems. Let's do this. Beautiful. And here, we're just going to get the pinwheels. Oop, like that. Legend tokens. Uh, okay, missed a few there. No biggie. Go for the pinwheels. So jump right there. Pinwheels, okay, perfect. Oops, I jumped. I didn't mean to jump, but hey, no biggie. Pinwheels, here we can get that, get that. Pinwheel, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Get those orbs. Going for the pinwheels, forget the gold. And big jump. Jump again, jump again. Woo, okay, I'm getting my legs going here. Jump. Oh, okay, I didn't jump fast enough. Anyways, still really good. We got 72 pinwheels, and I think we got those gems. Please. Yes, we got the gems, Yas Queen. 10 gems in the house. I couldn't be more happy. This has been a really epic video so far, if I may say so myself. Next up, we've got the Dandy Dragon. After that, we've got 400 maze coins. Okay, all very interesting here. Um, okay, just one last try. Here, we just want to get those pinwheels so we can try to get that dandy dragon. Okay, so here, forget the gold, go for the pinwheels. Ooh, I like dark tokens, beautiful. Oh yeah, looking good here. Beautiful. Okay, so here, we're doing good, staying focused. Let's see, jump, down, down, pinwheel, pinwheel, oh yeah. Okay, beautiful. Stay focused, we've got this. Let's go, down, down, pinwheels. Perfect, oh yeah. So here I'm going for the pinwheels, forget the gold. Here we're gonna jump, go down, and jump. Oh, whoops, a daisies, I ran into the thingamabobber jiggy. We still got 72 pinwheels, and that'll give us the dandy dragon, and I'm happy with that. Putzang, baby, oh yeah. So here, we've got that dandy dragon. The egg is gonna be in our storage and we'll eventually hatch that when we have enough space. Hmm. Are there any more gems on this? Eh, we're really far away from getting these 15 gems, but that is cool. Awesome. So things are going really well here. Um, here, um, just a quick uh, reminder. I ended up getting 20 free gems this morning by watching the ads or no not this morning last night i watched an ad in the center section for dragon tv and it was the last little section here for um ads that you have to watch to get those 20 gems so if you're wondering how i got some extra gems i ended up getting 20 gems last night here this is going to refresh in 12 minutes and i will absolutely watch one more ad to get those 10 free gems now long term what do I want to do with my gems? I want to upgrade my hatchery. Here, we need 120 gems to get the maximum level hatchery so we can hatch five eggs at once. So that's one of my long-term goals. Another one of my goals here is going to be to get the des desert island. Uh, it looks like it takes 74 gems, but I don't think there's an expansion event going on right now. So I'm going to wait until there's an expansion event so we can get that rebated price. Um, here, things are looking great. Let's see, what else can we do? Um, here, for getting those flight stamps, I think we're doing pretty good. We just have to wait on that egg, and we've got some time left to do that. So, let's see. One thing I want to do, you know, sometime soon, is work on the dragon roost. Right now, we've got five out of eight dragons that are level 30. That might be something I want to think about. Here, 
let's see. We've got a couple dragons that are interesting. You know, I've been keeping some lower level dragons so that I can feed them once that we have, um, you know, those feed missions so that we can get extra bonuses because I like multitasking. You know, if I could feed a dragon not only to level it up, but also to get some more rewards in the process, I like to do that. Um, here, I'm in the mood though. Let's go. Here, we're going to go ahead. We're going to level up this flame. Oh, psych. Okay, we're going to level up the next dragon on the menu here. We ended up getting a lot of food today, so I want to reinvest some of it. Here, we're going to feed this dragon, and not too shabby there. I think I want to get it to level 30. It's pricey. It is pricey, but it's not that bad. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. That's going to be like 100,000 gold, or 100,000 food. And we just got another creature that's level 30. Beautiful. So here, if we check out the Dragon Roost, we're now at 6 out of 8. We're getting closer and closer. We're not quite yet there, but we're making some good progress. So let's see. Do I want to get another dragon to level 30? Hmm. We've got some cool dragons here. I wonder, do we have any heroic dragons that are really low level? You know, I've been saving a lot of stuff, but if I have a heroic dragon, I'm going to go for it. Uh, I'm not seeing any. Here we've got a legendary dragon with the rogue, rogue dragon right there. So I'm kind of tempted to work on that legendary dragon. Oh yeah. Okay. So here we're going to mix it up totally. I've been saving this, but I'm done saving it. I'm going to invest. Let's go. So I want to get this dragon all the way to level 30. And I bet you it's going to be pretty powerful compared to the other dragons that I have in my lineup. We're going to invest a lot of food in this, but I think it's going to be w well worthwhile. Oh yeah, we still have 2 million food. We're probably going to get under 2 million food once we're done, but I'm pretty stoked about what this is going to give us. Here, check out that gold income. It's been, cr it's been cruising to the top there. Super good gold income. And these stats, I'm pretty sure, are pretty good as well. Beautiful. Oh yeah. So here we're down to 1.56 million food and I'm okay with that. We just got another level 30 dragon and I'm super stoked. Here if we go back to our dragon roost, we've got 7 out of 8 dragons that are level 30 and we're real close to getting that next upgrade there with the roost. We need one more dragon level 30. Of course it's going to cost a lot of gold. I don't think I have enough gold for it right now, but I'm really stoked about that and I just want to see in the dragon book. Check it out. Here this dragon, the rogue dragon, it has no rank, but it is now my fourth best dragon, which is awesome. Super excited about that. Um let's see. Should we do one more dragon? I'm kind of feeling it. We've got a lot of food. Man, maybe I should wait. I don't know. I like saving up my food um, uh, to spend or to save. Okay, you know what? I'm going to save. My gut's telling me, save up that food, girl. I know I don't have enough uh, gold right now to level up the roost anyways. I think it's pretty pricey. So for now, I'm just going to stick with what I have. And for example, here, we got that new dragon. We put it on the dark habitat here. And we do have enough gold to level up this habitat. So it'll go from 20,000 to 80,000 max gold. And that's a good investment in my eyes. Beautiful. Here, we've got a couple dragons over here. I think they're earth, oh no, water and metal. So I'm going to move this dragon to my metal habitat right there. And I believe there was another mercury dragon that we can move as well. Perfect. So here I'm going to put those two dragons on this habitat, start mixing it up a little bit. And I also want to level up this habitat. Right now it's got a max gold of 17.5 thousand plus 52. That makes 80 thousand. I'm good. I like it. Yeah. Beautiful. So that's going to take a little bit of time there, but it's a good investment. What else could we do here? 
Things are looking great. Here, I've been working on clearing some rocks because I know we're gonna get to this desert island pretty soon. When it comes to those dragons that are there, the dragons with gems, I mean, I'm kind of tempted, but I don't have enough gems and who knows, maybe one day. But the dragons that cost money, this is $30 Canadian. Uh, I don't know, is that like what, 25 US? That's a lot of money and I'm not quite yet there. So that dragon, I'm gonna clear it because, well, it's a lot of money for one dragon. I'm not saying it's a bad dragon. I'm just saying, eh, you know, girls gotta bring home the cat food and well, you know, gotta get some dragons as well, but you gotta choose which ones you go for. Here we've got a couple cool items we can clear as well. And let's check this out, 20, uh, 225. 225, ooh, meditation dragon. I want a meditation dragon, I love that. Okay, so we're not gonna clear that one. Oh, soap bubble dragon, $27.99. That's gotta be like, what, $21.99? I'm not too sure, US. But $27.99 Canadian currency. Eh, well, I love soap and bubbles, but I'm not sure that I'm willing to spend that money on that dragon. We're gonna go ahead and start clearing it, perfect. So things are looking pretty good here. Um, and I think, no, 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 we're not gonna clear that rock. I don't have enough gold left over. Okay, so here things are going pretty good. We're making some good progress. We're working on things slowly but surely. And I wonder, do we have any quests here that are completed? No, no, okay, perfect. So that's looking good. So we've got three things, or two, Two things that we need gems for. Here, I wanna get the next island. So we're gonna need, you know, less than 74 gems once an expansion event comes our way. The other thing I wanna work on here is I want to upgrade my hatchery. So that's gonna be 120 gems. So we're gonna need a lot more gems here. Here, we're starting to get some stronger dragons. I don't know if we're gonna be good enough to play this Jewelum's Tower, the flag mission. We don't have that many dragons that are like epic yet. Uh, I wanna save up some more like level 30 dragons that have at least two or three of those elements. So eh, I'm just not feeling it for now. Um, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think we're doing great. Here, let's go to the Tree of Life. Here in the shop, uh, bu -bu -bu -bum, there's a bunch of offers for gems and there's a couple dragon orbs here that we could get. So that's cool if you wanna trade orbs, if you wanna empower a dragon, or if you want to summon a dragon you don't have. Now, I'd be tempted, but I don't have that much gold right now, so I'm going to pass for now. But let's just say my pro account, or my more advanced account, I would get it. So I'm okay with that for now. Here, Meridian's Tower, we have finished building that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that gold boost. And since we're kind of wrapping this up at the moment, I'm just gonna get all the gold that's ready at our habitats so that when we come back, we're able to get as much gold as possible. Hey, we had a lot of gold here. Okay, I like that, I'm impressed. Ooh, dark dragon. Okay, so here, that little habitat needs a dragon. So here, we're gonna move a dragon there so that you know we're spreading it out all over the place. Here, we've got two well, higher level dragons here. Mm, I'm gonna take the level 30 dragon and I'm gonna move it to this habitat there. Perfect, love it. Here, uh, that dragon's breeding, but there's a ton of gold, love it. That's looking great. Oh, there's no ice dragon there. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so things are looking good, slowly but surely. Here, we've got, ooh, tons of gold there, love it. Beautiful. So things are looking pretty good here. I do have a little bit of organization to do. You know, my dragons are kind of not so balanced out here. I'm not too worried about it for now. Um, I don't know if we're gonna have enough time today to make another video, but Thursday, we might have time. I do have a couple, uh, you know, errands to run and a couple things to do to prepare for tomorrow, um, but we'll see where the wind blows. Here, we've got that. We've got that right there. We're gonna get all that gold, beautiful. Awesome, and then here, just got a little bit more gold, perfect. Yeah, things are looking good. Oh, tons of gold there, rock on. So that's great here, we've got a little bit of food, I'll take it. 
and some more gold. Okay, well, this has been, this was a really good cleanup. We've gotten ourselves to a million gold just by cleaning up our habitats. They weren't full, but they had a lot of gold on them. So that's great. Here, and I do see one thing that's interesting. These wind habitats can actually be upgraded with the tokens that we've received. So if we go here, we could upgrade this wind habitat to level three. It'll take it from 180,000 gold to 220,000 gold with a lot of experience. And I'm going for it, awesome. We've got exactly 100 tokens, doesn't require any food. That looks pretty good. Awesome. Okay, so I'm stoked about that. Here, I'm wondering, before I go, do I have a couple ice dragons that are scattered around the map? Here, if I've got an ice dragon, I want to put it on a ice habitat because I've got, you know, a couple ice dragons down here, but I have an empty habitat there and an empty habitat there, which is not good at all. Well, at least for getting gold. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but, you know, you want to get as much gold as you can, right? So snowflake, ice, big hat. Those are the only dragons that are elements of ice. Uh, here, that ice dragon is breeding because we're trying to get that cool dragon there. Where is the snowflake a dragon? Uh, I'm looking for the snowflake dragon. Wait a second. Here, if we look for, oh, this dragon's breeding. Okay. So yeah. All of our ice dragons are currently busy. So in the long term, I want to get some more ice dragons. Luckily for us, we've got the alpine dragon that's coming in. So the second I get that dragon, it's going on the ice habitat. Now, I ended up building a bunch of ice habitats because I know they have a good gold storage, but I guess I went a little bit overboard here. Meh, what you gonna do? It's all good. Here, whoops, wrong button. We're gonna go for our shops real quick and see if we can do any buildings, no. Any habitats? Uh, well, wind, we don't really have that much wind. Uh, dragons at the moment. Ooh, chaos habitat, that looks cool. I don't think I have any chaos dragons yet, though. So ice, we've already got too many of those. How many electric habitats do I have? Huh. I've got six ice habitats, or er, six electric habitats already. I know I said I only wanted to make six of each habitat, but I think I want one more electric habitat. You know what? I'm going for it. Here, we're gonna go ahead, build an electric habitat down here. It's gonna take two hours to build, and that'll be great for getting some more gold. Here, if we look at this electric habitat here, right now it's got 50,000 gold storage, which is pretty good. If we could level this up, it'd be 90,000, and I'm gonna keep working on that long term. Yas, queen. and. Perfect timing to wrap this up. Here, I'm gonna go and watch that ad so we can get our first, um, you know, 20% towards getting these next 10 free gems. Thanks so much everybody for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like and stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and strategies coming soon. Thanks again, everybody. Take care, peace.